Welcome to the channel. I'm Fearless Dojo. This is where we talk about politics, video games, and most importantly, we love God. I wanted to bring you Isom. Comic book just came out. Produced by Rippaverse. Written by Young Rippa. I'll put his link uh, to his channel in the description below. Go check it out. He's got excellent content. This comic raised $3.3 million in, in crowdfunding, which is the most ever by a comic. At least I'm pretty sure it's the most ever by a comic. It's uh, which it's a ridiculous amount of money. <clears throat> the whole purpose of Ripa, he said he wants to get away from Marvel's uh, wokeness and all the crap that they've been doing, all the poor writing they've been doing in the latest comic books with all the uh, universe swapping and multiple universes blowing up and all that nonsense. Anyway, he's getting away from all that, getting away from all the woke garbage, and he's just writing good old-fashioned comic books like Stan Lee used to write back in the day. And who knows? This could be the beginning of a new era. This, Stan Lee didn't know Marvel was going to take off when he wrote that. This could be 10 years. Maybe this book could be worth thousands of dollars and I'll be a millionaire. Because I'll sell it for thousands of dollars and make a million bucks. Figure that one out. But I want to show you a few things. I read it. I thought it had really good writing. The gra uh, graphics. The quality of, of art is fantastic he has one of the better uh, comic book artists working for him here's one of the pictures that i can show you it's yara we don't know much about her but she has an attitude and uh she gets in a couple fights alpha core they're like a, a military uh so I, what we know so far is it's kind of like kind of like x-men kind of not the uh they got people running around and the people that are super powered are called excepts and they're known. There's no secret. I mean, it's not secret. People know that everybody's... <clears throat> there's people running around with powers. And Alpha Corps works for the government or there's some kind of police force and they try and turn the bad guys. But uh, th that's an interesting storyline to follow. Yara is a cool storyline. And uh, we get <clears throat> we get some decent information about Isom himself. He is uh got an attitude. Doesn't like. He doesn't really share it to the world. He's an XF. He keeps it kind of hidden, which is interesting to know. There's a couple of good fight scenes. Show you that picture. But the art's fantastic. The character building's really good. Um, across the board, I thought it was an excellent, excellent book to read. I would let a kid read it, you know, ages 12 and up, probably. Um, there's no cursing. There's no, you know, there's, there's, there's no, uh, it doesn't push any agendas. And, um, yeah, I mean, I I really liked it. I can't I can't uh, praise it enough. Plenty of good plot lines from beginning to end. It took me I don't know forty five to an hour to read it probably, and I took my time kind of looking at everything. But I can't wait to see where Isom takes off. I can't wait to see where the rest of Ripperverse goes. Um, yeah, if you need a non woke comic doesn't push any agendas, I I highly recommend it. I'm Fearless Dojo. See you next time.